Well, hello and welcome to the channel. Today, or this morning, you join me, I'm in a familiar place, certainly for myself. I'm stood on the banks of the Mersey. So what's brought me here this morning? Well, quite simply, I've got a bit of a free morning. So I thought, let's go out, bring you guys, bring the camera and just sort of see what we can get. And hopefully we might get a sunrise. Well, we're always gonna get a sunrise. Let's hope it's a good one. Throughout this morning, as the Mersey started to fill up, the skies really started to tease me. As you can probably tell by our time lapse, we've had quite a few clouds coming across, and uh, yeah, they were starting to ignite at one point. They've since vanished and left with, uh, well, as you can see in the background, nothing. But we've got about another 20 minutes until sunrise, so uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get something. But that said, I'm not too fussed. Like I say, I've got a free day, so I'm just going to do some photography, and uh, yeah, just the man, his camera, and some photography. So it's currently about 20 past six on a Monday morning. And yeah, while I can hear the commuters and everything else starting to, uh, to build up, I've actually got four days off. So it's a great opportunity for me personally to come out and do some photography. I do apologize if you're starting work yourself. Sorry. Well, where have I been the last couple of weeks? Well, I've not been able to get out because, uh, well, two reasons. First of all, I've been doing quite a bit of overtime in work. And the second reason, well, I've done my knee in and it's about 60% better. So if you notice me hobbling, that's the reason why. I've not done anything heroic, it's not, uh, you know, motor racing and gone through a wall at 120 miles an hour or come off a mountain bike or anything like that. No, I walked into a fence post. Ow! Yes, you heard right, I walked into a fence post. That put me out of action last weekend, so uh, yeah, this is the first opportunity I've actually managed to get out and actually walking on my, uh, on my leg with my knee. It's, uh, yeah, it's been quite painful. Poor Sarah, she's had to listen to me moan. I'm not a very good patient. I hate being not 100%, so uh, yeah, apologies, Sarah. As I'm just walking down this path now, I'm just uh, starting to walk into a load of mist. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but uh, yeah, it's really quite spooky, quite, uh, quite eerie. But yeah, quite good as well. So I arrived here straight after work, so I got here about 20 to five, and it's been absolutely pitch black, and it's quite uh, quite amusing actually how quickly the, um, or how, lo what, what's the best way to describe this? It's darker for longer in the mornings. You know what I mean. Certainly as we start approaching autumn. So yeah, I, I had quite a bit of a wait for the, uh, for the, uh, the night time to, to go away and the morning to uh, to kick in so uh, that's clearly done that now uh, and as I'm just walking through this uh, this sort of countryside area now with the, the traffic in the background so when I got here I took a couple of nighttime shots sort of long exposure shots of the bridges um, and yeah there's this kind of three bridges here there's a, the road bridge you drive across the old witness Runcorn bridge and this uh, this new gateway bridge so uh, yeah I'll show a couple of those images now
So I'm currently heading on to the other side of the, um, the Gateway Bridge, the, the main artery across the Mersey at the moment. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the uh, sun rises just in the distance um, on the other side of that bridge. So what I want to do is try and shoot back towards it so the sun actually shines on the bridge, lights it up and uh, yeah, tries to give something. I'm just trying to work with anything I've got. It could be a bit of a fail this sunrise. I've got no cloud in the sky whatsoever and uh, yeah, a little bit of mist on the ground. Yeah, quite difficult to work with, but uh, we'll come up with something, as I always do. I hope you can hear me okay I've got the rush of traffic over the uh, over the top of me just uh, along the expressway so I've just noticed I'm um, just made a bit of a pit stop on this on this mound on this hill um, the way the Sun just been you around now the way the Sun is just sort of hitting the uh, the beams the struts going across the bridge so quickly take an image of this have a look see what I've got and uh, yeah move on to the other side so uh, yeah I'll tell that image now I'm not sure if you can hear the the, uh, the cars going over and the trucks going over, but there's like plastic um, sound deadening things going across. So every time a car goes by, it sounds like a well. The best way to describe it is like a little spaceship. I'm not sure if you can actually hear that, but uh, yeah, it's quite freaky being stood down here. But I'd rather be stood down here taking images and uh, commuting back into to work. Yeah, that's a definite win. So I'm just focusing now, just taking a couple of images, dead simple, structure of the, uh, of the bridge in the shop, lit up underneath with the, uh, with the way the sun rises coming up and uh, yeah, dead simple, dead easy and um, yeah, just taking that. Simple but lovely. I'll show those images now. So just on the other side of this hill, there's a bit of a walkway. It's going to take me about five or ten minutes to get down there. So yeah, I'm going to get my skates on, not literally, but uh, yeah, get my skates on and head down there now um, and sort of shoot back of the bridge just as the sun is it's starting to, to light the, the frame of the bridge from the other side. See you in a moment. So I've probably hit this area a little bit too late. Uh, I think the sun's beating down on it too much to uh, to give any real definition. Uh, but yeah, I've taken a couple of shots, a little bit of foreground interest, and uh, yeah, I think I've done what I can from this location. Bit of a short vlog, but uh, yeah, so be it. The sunrise has really let me down this morning. I thought it was gonna be quite dramatic. The weather forecast said it would be um, cloudy and sunny, but uh, yeah, as you can tell, there's absolutely nothing in there. There's uh, there's no real colour either, so um, yeah, it's probably a strike off photography wise in this location. It's a place I've done a million times, well, a million's probably exaggerating, a couple of hundred times before, but uh, yeah, you know, been out this morning, done it, and uh, yeah, created a hopefully an entertaining video for you guys to watch. So, photography news, or at least gear news. I've got a new lens. What is it? Well, it's the 105 macro lens, the Nikkor, Nikkor macro lens, f2.8. 
and I've been after one of these for absolutely ages and I don't know why I've not bought one sooner I've gone to buy it put it in the checkout and when I've actually come to buy it I've actually not bothered with it but this time I've actually gone for it and actually bought it what's it like well I don't really know macro photography is something I've really wanted to get into for a long time I never really made the plunge um, I'm not really sure why but uh, yeah just I just never done it I've used this lens a couple of times I used it yesterday, I took some, uh, we did some butterfly shots. Myself and Sarah went off to a butterfly greenhouse place and uh, yeah, I had a play with it then and I've taken a couple of shots in the back garden. Um, but yeah, I've not really had time to use this yet. So this will feature possibly on the next video. Sort of a bit of a review on what I think of it and whether it's actually worth investing into macro photography. But I guess from here, from the now, it's time to probably finish this video. I think I've done all I can, um, certainly with the way the, uh, the sunrise has, has been this morning. It's certainly not getting any better the, the longer I'm here. So I'm going to wrap up my gear, head back to the car and, uh, and yeah, go home, get some sleep, wake up, get a cup of coffee, bacon butty, that sort of thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit of a no frills type of video, but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board of the channel. I'll leave a note in the comments. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and what you thought of this video. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So from Wig Island in Runcorn, looking over towards Widnes, it's time to say goodbye. All the best, take care. New video featuring this out very, very soon. Bye-bye now.